Um, programmable thermostat. Uh, it takes two batteries, which sit in, sit in there. Uh, AA, any sort of battery will do. It doesn't matter, rechargeable, whatnot. It's okay. They should last you about 18 months, but we do say change every 12, just to be on the safe side. Um, it will always display your date, time, current room temperature. When it's switched off, with the slider in off, it's got 5 degree frost protection, so if it ever drops below 5 degrees, it'll fire your boiler up. Switch it to manual, that's constant. Basically, you set what target temperature you want the house to be, up or down. Average room temperature is 21 degrees, so that will then cycle to keep at 21 degrees. If you set it at 24, it'll cycle to keep at 24. If the room temperature is already warmer than the target temperature, your boiler won't fire. It'll only fire when it drops below. This will go up as high as 35 degrees and as low as 5 degrees. Uh, so that's as easy as the manual mode, it's just up and down uh, to set your temperature. Slide it to auto, that's timer. Now this model will do three times a day, seven days a week, every day the same or every day individual, entirely how you, you wish for it to be. Slide to program, that allows you to set your times. The day flashes at the top, that shows you what day you're setting the times for. You can change that by pressing the day button and set every individual day if you wish. Uh, you've got one to six across the bottom. So one is your first on, two is your first off, three is your second on, four is your second off, five is your third on, six is your third off. So your time flashes, you change the time with the time symbols there. It will only go in 10 minute intervals. Once you're happy with your on time, you press OK. It'll move to your temperature. Set what temperature you want it to get to. Press OK. It'll save, move to number two. So that's your off time. Set your off time. Press OK. It'll then move to your secondary temperature. So two, four, and six have a, a backup temperature. Preset at 18 degrees. So when it's going off at 8 a.m. on the preset, the next preset at number three is on at 12. So between 8 and 12 a.m. If it drops below that temperature, even in the off period, it fires the boiler up. It's, it basically allows you to control how cool the house gets, as well as how warm it gets. Uh, I usually drop it down to about 15 degrees, but everybody's different. Press OK, it then moves on to number three, so it's your midday. If you didn't want the midday, I just tend to set the on and off time the same, and just cancel itself out, and I just drop the secondary temperature down to the same as number two. Um, so then it goes on to number th number five, which is the evening. Set your evening time, obviously identical to how you've done it before. Once you get to the last one, press OK. If you then want the same every day, rather than pressing day and going off all for each one again, press copy day, it will say copy Monday to Tuesday, press OK. Press it again, Tuesday to Wednesday, and so on. It just saves you a lot of time going through all the settings. Once you've done that, slide to auto, it works off those times. You can turn it up at any time in the off period and it will raise the temperature to turn it on, uh, like a temporary override, or you can switch it to manual and tidy up to you. When it's in auto or manual, you've got the three options here to use it as a, a secondary timer. One is a holiday mode, set the amount of days you go away there, press OK, set the temperature you want the house to stay for that period. It will go up to 99 days, so after the time period stops, it automatically goes back into either your timer settings or just the manual setting. Party mode, the idea being the more guests you have, you want to set it cooler for a set amount of time. And then a shut off mode, which will shut it off, but automatically switch straight back to your time settings after after it's finished. That's pretty much it. It will auto update when the clocks go forward and back, so you don't have to worry about setting that. Uh, I'll leave that switched off for now. And that's that cover drop down. It just sits on. And that, all your instructions are in the box. So that's, uh, that's that. Thank you.